And trust me, as much as I would love to buy one of these right now, I really don't need any more notebooks. I just have gotten to the point where I'm collecting them, but not really writing in them. Gotta get that done. I'm really jamming to the music right now. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and to another edition of Shop With Me. Today we are going to Five Below. We're going to Five Below where everything is $5 or less. And I just noticed something. This plaza is dangerous for teachers because there's a Five Below here and within a little bit of a walking distance, there is a Dollar Tree. All right, so let's see what we find in Five Below today. Look at these cute duffel bags for only $5. I really like that one with the mandala. Valentine's Day stuff, of course. Look at the beanies. This one says hi. And off to the mermaid, oh my gosh. $5, yes please. This is mine. This neat little step stool. It's a folding step stool for $5. Yoga mats, foam rollers, and another pile of yoga mats. Shoes. Sparkly shoes. Ooh, they have a session for St. Patrick's Day. I am definitely taking this to put on my classroom door for March. So this section is two or three dollars. And these gel clings are actually a dollar. And I really love this crown to wear on St. Patty's Day. And this is two dollars. Yes, please. Or should I take this headband instead? Oh, choices. Choices. Beanie Babies for $4.99 and look at all the choices and the little ones here too and this section has fitness clothes what this is awesome check out these interlocking floor tiles they are three dollars each how cool is that there's a variety of fitness things and equipment here for fitness people like me and anybody else out there. How cool is that? Including dumbbells. Check it out. And kettlebells. Super cool. I absolutely love this sports dine. I am definitely going to use it for different workouts. Why not? I love storage and look at this oh my god how cute is that
my god, they have graphic tees for five dollars. Amazing. More storage solutions, including all these different bins, and more going this way. And they also have some things that you can use for both the house and your classroom. Look at this pretty mermaid cube. Ooh, this feels so nice. And it's five dollars. And they have it in black and in silver too. And I just realized that on the back they have different colors of this cube. How awesome is that? Even green. Beautiful. How adorable are these sleep masks? Look at this beautiful unicorn. How cute is that? And mermaid lover people like me. How awesome. And these are three dollars. Makeup brushes galore for five dollars. What a great find. Okay, so I've been a little distracted on this first side of the store as soon as I walked in, but there's still so much more left. And I even haven't gotten to the school and teacher stuff, even though I started seeing some things that I can use already in my classroom. But I'm gonna head over there, all over there. I'm gonna go over there now. I absolutely love this sign. I'm gonna have to take it as five dollars. Check out these neat little bookmark and pen sets. What a great little gift for students in special occasions. Let me see how much this is. That on the back says that this is three dollars. Three dollars for this nice little gift. Cute. Found my favorite section which is all the art sections all the art supplies and look at these and these are four dollars i don't need any more pens but they're so cute and they have the crayola fine liners for five dollars oh look at these i love me some colors for a dollar here. I wish I would have known. I just ordered some from Amazon. I think they were a little more than a dollar. Oh well, now I know where to get them in the future. More art supplies, including Crayola, and ooh, a heart memory pillow. One of my favorite sections. Notebooks and journals. And look at this cute kitty cat with a unicorn horn. How cute is that? How cute is that? And trust me, as much as I would love to buy one of these right now, I really don't need any more notebooks. I just have gotten to the point where I'm collecting them, but not really writing in them. Gotta get that done. There's Play-Doh. And Play-Doh accessories as well. And some great wall art that you just peel off and you stick on. And these are stickers. And more stickers. Stick it to me. <laughs> I know I just said no more notebooks for me, but check out this cover. Your vibe attracts your tribe. You love it. Check out these board games for only three dollars. Are cheesy, snake and ladders, and cheesy. chess. Yes, and checkers too. Look at this beautiful unicorn poster, and it's four dollars. We're taking this one, and we're also taking this one. She is my superhero inspiration. Go Wonder Woman. I mean, I'm not saying I'm Wonder Woman, but we haven't been seen in the same room, so we never know. They have little headbands that are hearts and a mermaid crown and cat ears, you just like the ones that I just purchased in my Amazon. Order. 
so yeah. And my mom put these on me, so I don't know how they look, but they feel awkward right now. Let me see this one. Okay, there. Cat ears. Look at these beautiful dream catchers. Look at this beautiful dream catcher. Look at this one, it's so beautiful. So look at this perfect poster that I can definitely put up in my room as an excuse as to why I don't hardly do anything on the weekends. After all, we teachers need to save our energy in order to start each school week. Yes. Some other posters. You got this. Yes, yes, we do. More sequin pillows. And check this out. I'm awake. Nope, I'm asleep. How awesome is that? Little cactus plants, or fake ones at least, to put on your desk. And check out these light bulb lamps. What? Awesome. There are more board games here in addition to the ones that I showed previously. This is so awesome. Board games for indoor recess. Like, why not? Oh my goodness, I found a section with all writing supplies and I am dying here especially with all these emoji things and I don't have an emoji theme but oh my goodness like this is going to the classroom with me because I could use this for games and other things and check out these other ones the smiley clips too and magnets and more pens and writing stuff how awesome I'm really jamming to the music right now Duct tape, so many different things we can do with duct tape. Right, so I am probably gonna get this only because it is magnetic. I could put it on one of my doors because my doors are magnetic and I could put a sign for the students to encourage them to look at themselves and whatever the sign says, it'll encourage them. It'll provide some motivation. So I think I'm gonna get this. Oh, and they also have it, not just in black, but they have it in this nice teal metallic color. I think I'm probably going to get that one instead. I am a Lego lover, so I had to stop and show you. These are foam Legos, giant foam Legos, and they actually stack on top of each other. How cool is that? And they have party stuff as well for parties and decorations and greeting cards too. And this section has a lot of accessories for smartphones, including cables and chargers. Nice. Okay, so I don't know how good these are, but they're literally just $5. And I'm thinking of getting one. It comes with a remote, and I can put it in one of my classroom lamps and change the lighting. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to get it and use it in my classroom. Oh, and they also have these switch lights that I've seen on Instagram as shared by other teachers. So these are really neat. They have wireless optical mouses, or mice actually, as well as HDMI cables and other accessories for the computer. And I think this is pretty cool. Like that's a computer case. And again, everything in this store is $5 or below. So the most of these things cost is $5. So these are really, really neat accessories for laptops and e-devices. There are also headphones in here, as well as earbuds to the left over there. Again, $5 out this retro speaker for only five dollars how cool is that they have a karaoke microphone and a dancing water speaker well that's interesting i haven't seen that before and some little speakers as well and back here they have little disco lights neat little disco lights that connect through the usb very interesting out the school spinner Whoa, that's crazy Cool. This out is a little cute mini microphone for smartphones and tablets, and it's only $3.99. How cute is that? This is a dangerous section to come to, the candy section, and I am spotting some Haribo's over there. 
they're probably gonna go home with me. And there's more candy here. You could get four pieces of candy from this middle display for a dollar. And look at the box candy also for a dollar. Amazing. And they have snacks and drinks. Awesome. They also have smaller candies, 10 for a dollar. This is a problem if you love candy like I do. And if you are an emoji lover, they have more emoji things. Awesome. And this is how they get you. This is a section of all different kinds of Haribo gummy bears. And they're five for a dollar or a dollar twenty-five each. Oh my goodness, I'm in trouble. This is where I'm gonna come from my gummy bears from now on. And these, these right here, are my ultimate favorite ones. And I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to take a bag with me. cute are these grow kits for only three dollars you get the little bucket and the seeds inside and you can grow these little plants i forgot to show that they also have these cute butterfly garden kits how neat is that okay i think i've seen everything in the stores quite big there's a lot of things i feel super overwhelmed i'm pretty sure i'll come back in another time and be able to see what else I can buy and use probably in the classroom for teaching and for myself as well. So I am getting ready to check out and I'll show you a little bit of that and what I ended up buying. All right, so as you saw in the previous clips, you saw my trip through Five Below. Since then, it's been a couple of days and now I'm back in my classroom. And if you saw my 100th day video, you see that I'm wearing the exact same thing because I am actually filming this little bit for this video right after I finished that 100th day video. But I wanted to go ahead and show you the things that I did purchase from Five Below and give you some ideas on what I'm planning to do with it. Some of the items I bought for the classroom and some I bought for the home. So first, let me show you what I bought for myself for the home. So I have my first giant Five Below bag right here and sticking out of the bag, because they're demanding attention first are these two posters, which I'm not gonna open them right now, but I did show them in the video. One is a unicorn poster, and another one is a scribble art of Wonder Woman. I am planning on taking these posters to Michael's and getting them framed really nicely and put somewhere in my house. And I wanna let you know each poster was $5. Next, I showed this in the video, it's a fitness dice and it's a sports dice. And basically you just drop it and it gives you different exercises to do. So we have 15 jumps, 15 crab walks, 25 bicycles, 15 butt kicks, a water break, uh, 10 jump squats, six, uh, 15 calf races, 15 push-ups, 25 bicycles. Let me see, yep, I said one minute rope jump or jump rope. I say 10, 10 jump lunges, ooh, those are hard. 15 burpees, oh, 
no not burpees and 15 of them oh my gosh I haven't done a burpee in such a long time I don't think I could even do five without feeling like I need some kind of break but I think I pretty much read oh one minute plank yikes I gotta build up to that too so yeah those are the exercises I used to do all these exercises once upon a time and maybe one day I'll share with you what happened with that fitness journey and the current fitness journey that I'm on now all right I also found this knit beanie and I love it I don't even know if I should put it on camera maybe I should um, it's a beanie look how cute it looks it's like fish scales and it says off-duty mermaid I love mermaids so let's see I guess I'll see how this looks on the playback but yeah I don't know hopefully I look okay so I'm an off-duty mermaid and to go along with this the next item should be the next thing I show I got this metal sign which I also showed in the video it says signs you are a mermaid you smell the salt in the air you play in the waves you dance in the rain you ride out the storms you live so deep life takes your breath away that really does describe me so this sign I believe was five dollars I think the beanie was probably three dollars I'm sorry I'm not trying off the top I think this was also about three dollars I think so everything in the store is basically five dollars or less obviously as you saw in the video as well there were a lot many more five dollar things and there were one two three or four dollar items so those are the items that I got at five below that are for me or for the home okay putting all this back in the bag second big five below bag now these are items that I plan to use in the classroom first things first or keep a snack in the classroom I just noticed what else is in here all right first things first sand patty's day is coming up so as soon as Valentine's Day you know is over I mean I'll keep the heart decorations that I'm gonna put you know later on up until maybe the end of next week but when St. Patty's Day is coming around the corner I'm going to make sure I put these gel clings on my door so those are cute and on St. Patty's Day along with my lucky charm t-shirt I am planning on wearing this crown look how cute again I guess I'll get to see how this looks in the playback and it's a preview of what I'm gonna be wearing on St. Patty's Day all right I got this huge bag of assorted mega mini emojis, which I plan on using for different games and activities with my students. I thought this was so cool and exciting. So it's 500, let me show you again. 500 mini erasers. This is really cool. So I saw this color changing light bulb and I thought that um, this would be a good thing to use in my classroom. This was five dollars it comes with a remote and you can change the lights that it shines so i will maybe try it out before the end of this video and show you how it looks maybe one of my lamps over there in the corner so really quickly i wanted to show you the new light bulb that i got from five below this is a lamp that i bought from walmart for like 10 bucks and it has a little light here and this you can adjust so you can bring it up you can bring it down and then that one up there just stays there but basically this is the light bulb that i had on there and i just substituted that light bulb for the new one so again the remote control is here so i'm going to turn it on and i'm actually going to turn off the classroom lights right now so hold on a moment now that i turned off the light in the classroom you can kind of see how this light bulb looks. So right now, I think it's in the strobe setting. I'm gonna put it in the flash setting. So this is the flash setting. Oh, nice, okay. This is the fade setting. So it should be fading from one color to the next, and it's doing just that. That looks really nice. And this is the smooth setting. And it should be also changing colors. This is so cool. I mean, I'm gonna back up a little bit and you get to see how this looks i mean i'm so in love with this light bulb i think i'm just gonna have to get one for my room because this is amazing and again you can change it into different colors and they might not look really good on camera but that's red and it goes down the rainbow to the different colors it's orange that's like a yellow orange 
that's yellow, that's green, and that's a teal color, that's like a bluish color, and a dark blue color, and then we have, I guess, another bluish color. They have different shades of blue. And then we have purple, of course, purplish, and then it goes all the way to pink, and then, of course, white. And then you have all the different settings, and you can make it dimmer. Let me go to white and see how it, yeah, you can make it dimmer, and you can make it brighter. So I really like these flash settings. So right now this is flash, and this is strobe. And this is fade. Nice, it fades from one color to the next. You can't really see it on camera, but believe me, it's changing. They went like from white to blue to pink. And this is smooth. So that is awesome. I can't wait for the students to see this tomorrow. So again, if you're interested, I don't know if they sell it anywhere else. Maybe they do on Amazon. It's called the Vibe Color Changing Light Bulb with Remote. It comes with a remote and it has uh, 15 different colors and four modes. And it was $5 at five below. Yeah, I'm definitely going back and getting another one of these, maybe two more. All right, so that is the light bulb. All right, this is my guilty pleasure. Haribo Sour Gummy Bears. These are delicious, they're so good. And um, I have to eat them a little bit at a time because one serving is 16 pieces and 16 pe pieces is like eight points or seven points. I know that if I eat half of that, it's three points. So eight pieces is like three points. So I usually eat half of a serving whenever I'm craving them. And usually that's pretty okay. I mean, if I'm really craving them, then I'll just eat the whole one serving, which is the 16 pieces. But my favorite one out of this pack are the green ones. And I know green is usually not a good flavor, but in this case it is because the green Haribo gummy bears are strawberry flavor, and that's very yummy. So I love this so, so much. If I were to compare how much I love this, I would have to say I love Haribo sour gummy bears as much as Michelle Ferre from Pocket Full of Primary loves Reese's Pieces or Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. So Michelle, if you're watching, I have the same obsession, but not with Reese's with Haribo Sour Gummy Bears. And last but not least, I have a little sketch of what I'm planning to do with this mirror. I wanna open it right now on camera because I want to make sure, because it has a film on the actual mirror, I want to make sure that it's actually a clear reflective mirror that you can actually see a clear ref reflection of yourself because I plan on doing something with it. It's a magnetic mirror, so it has a magnet on the back. And there were two different styles that I noticed. There was this teal color, this teal metallic color, and there was a black one. I don't know if I want the teal now or if I want the black one, but I'm just going to keep the teal for now. But this is what I'm planning to do with it. I have a back door which leads to the bathroom. And right now there's hardly anything in it other than the curtain that's covering the window because you can see through to the other class because we have an in-between, our bathrooms connect to the next classroom. So I wanna put this mirror on that door and put a whole bunch of arrows around the mirror with a whole bunch of sayings. And I might change some of these, but the sayings say, reader, writer, achiever, determined, important, loved, goal crusher, and I was thinking of other ones, but I'm going to have a total of, it looks like it's eight different arrows going around the little mirror. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see that in camera. That's basically my thoughts about what I'm going to do so that when the students look in the mirror and they see all these different things that are pointing to that person that they see in the mirror, this is who they are. So it serves like a motivation for them to look at themselves and see their reflection and remember that they're all of these things. So I wanted to really do that and once I do it and I have it completely done, I'll be sure to include it in a future vlog. So let me open this right now. Yes, okay, good. So this is like a little plastic covering that's protecting the actual mirror. So let me take this off. Okay, so it, it, it opens up like this 
and there is actually a film over it and it's not even cut perfectly but let me just because so, you can see it's kind of jagged on the corners but I'm trying to take this plastic film <gasps> yes it's a funky kind of looking thing I wonder if I could buy like a mirror piece that's this size and put it there instead because it it looks a little warpish but I think it works let me put it back okay all right let's see if you can see it so it looks like this and I can't wait to put it on that door with those arrows pointing to the mirror and having it as a spot where my students can kind of look at their reflection and be reminded of all the affirmations that are around the mirror so that if they need a little pick-me-up or a boost for the day they could just do that so those are the little things that I gathered together in my five below shop with me I hope you enjoy coming along and shopping with me at five below it certainly was an interesting trip I hadn't been there in a while but it's been a long time so I didn't even realize all the things that they had I think I went once many years ago but I didn't remember that they had so many different aspects that one was a pretty big one so I don't know if the one that I went to before was a smaller one so yeah five below it's fairly new down here in South Florida let me know in the comments down below if you have a five below near you let me know what you enjoyed from the shop with me and if you noticed any items that maybe you saw in the store that you maybe didn't see in my haul so thank you so much for watching my five below shop with me video i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment down below also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos and i'll see you next time have a beautiful magical day and don't forget to smile